How's it going guys? I wanted to make a very quick video. Uh, I will make a longer one, but I wanted to show you guys the power of the idea tool in Rapid Composer, which it, uh, comes only with the full version, but it is really awesome. So what I did is I started a new composition. I made it eight bars and I went to the idea tool and um, I basically changed this. I think it uh, defaults to scale select automatically based on chord progression. I changed it to U specific, C major, uh, progression, select from list. I think I think select any for scale is the default, but I selected from list and if you right click right here, you get a bunch of pre made chord progressions that, that are absolute chords, you know, so that they don't move or anything. So so what I chose for my progression is way down here, it's called the Axis of Awesome. Um, a lot of you have probably seen that video on YouTube. It's really funny. They play like a hundred songs using the same D, A, B minor, G progression. And in this case, it's in the key of C. So it's just a basic one, five, six, four chord progression, uh, which is great to, you know, write songs to because it's been used for 60 years or longer in pop music. And it's just really good. So I chose that as my progression for the idea tool. I made the idea tool eight bars. So basically, Every two bars, it's going to be the first chord, C. Next two bars is going to be G, and then um, the next two bars is going to be A minor, and then the last two are going to be F. So what you do down here, this is a really important thing. you got to set, it's going to default to track one. So you're going to, what I would do is I would add two more tracks. I would just, it's, it defaults to track one. You, you go to add track, and then add track, so you get three tracks. And what you need to do is you need to specify the sound you want. I have a, you know, a, a lame vocal sound font, whatever. It's just like a, a choir type, you know, Casio sound. But it works good for melody stuff. And on track two, I have a Cakewalk Studio Instruments, Rhodes, Piano. On track three, same thing, Cakewalk, Bass, Guitar. And basically what you have to do is, see where it says phrases set? You have to pick a phrase for each uh, track, you know, to generate an idea for. So what I do is I right click and this is where you guys can see the melody generator in action. So I drag that over and then I, I bump the slider up to eight even though it's only gonna make four phrases. Um, it defaults to zero or one or something like that. And then it says variations to use. Um, if you right click this, you get the variations browser, which I talked about in part two of the Rapid Composer tutorials. Um, all these things are amazing. You know, you got remove notes, you could, you know, remove. I, I, I don't fully understand this just yet. I got to ask uh, the developer about it. But, um, th you know, it, it basically has 32 different parameters for that setting. All these other things, you know, uh, remove note, even beats, odd beats, you know, random note, random time, shortest, longest, notes between beats. It's crazy how many variations you can use. The stuff at the top, I think, is the most useful for variety, and the stuff at the bottom is a little less useful, like MIDI echo and audio gain. I don't know, you know, the purpose of that, but uh, limit note range, expression, that gives you, like, your velocity stuff, staccato and legato, swing, strum if you if you want to try to emulate like a guitar uh strumming humanize obviously it messes with the timing a little bit quantize double phrase makes whatever is generated kind of like twice as fast you know what i mean uh triple does the same mirror horizontally is you know it takes the phrase and just kind of puts it in reverse uh permute chord notes you know again I, i'm not sure exactly what a lot of this stuff does but what i usually do is just uh, set a couple variations, remove note, and then I add another instance of it, remove note, and I change the parameter, like with this one I might have one, and this one I might have four, or something like that. Again, I don't fully understand how this works yet, and then this one I'll probably just take away because I don't need it. And this one, you know, so I got remove note, remove note, and then maybe I'll add mirror horizontally as a variation. So, variations to use, you know, I bump this up, variations per phrase or whatever, you know, I don't know what the, uh, these exact numbers mean, but I just go with it. So anyway, track one's going to be a melody using a choir style, you know, lame sounding sound font, but just to get some ideas. Track two is going to be the chords, so obviously, you know, I right click this and then it pulls up the 
phrase browser, so I, I dragged a chord generator in there. And that's basically just chords playing on quarter notes. Dun, 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 you know. So then on track three, I have the bass generator, which obviously I need, you know, want some bass in there. So single uh, legato, you know, melodies, MIDI notes. So I just dragged the bass generator in there. And I picked, you know, the sound I wanted to use. So, you know, you got your three tracks, and they each have different sets. But, but no matter what, you have to put a phrase in there. And you can put any combination of phrases. It doesn't have to be just one. You know, so <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty powerful. You could, you could drag in four instances of Melody Generator and customize it to your liking if you want. And, or the Chord Generator, you could uh, drag four in instances of that. And each one could be a different type of rhythm. You know, you just right click and you just, it's it's crazy. I'll go into it uh, in detail when I have more time. I actually have to be at work in like 45 minutes. So, um, but anyway, this is really great. So all I do is I just set all this stuff in the idea tool, and there's a shortcut if you just hit Shift G on Windows. I'm not sure you know what the what the Mac equivalent is. <clears throat> if you hit Shift G, it'll bring you into the composition and it'll generate whatever. So I just hit Shift G takes like a second and here is the idea that I made so this track is gonna be the melody this is gonna be the chords this is gonna be um, the uh, you know the bass so we're gonna to listen to it and see how it sounds So that, that actually gives me a lot of ideas. I really like the melody over here on A minor. And, you know, I, I, I kind of like the first one. This one was a little bit weird. It had some tension, you know, some tense notes there. But uh, I'm just going to show you how fast it is to generate another. Shift G. There's another. We're going to listen to it. All right, so I think the first one that I generated, I think the VST instruments got a little confused. I think uh, the bass sound was playing the chords, and I think the Rhodes instrument was playing the bass. Sometimes that happens, I think, with the with those type of VSTs. I don't think it's a rapid composer problem, but sometimes, you know, I'll hear that, but I don't really care. As long, I'm just using it to generate ideas. Shift-G again. Now, this... This melody generator is set to the default settings, um, which you get a lot of good results, especially vocal style results. And I'm going to shift G again. Here's another one. So now, like, say we like, we, we basically like what we did so far, and, you know, we're getting some cool ideas. What if we want to, um, you know, go back to the idea tool, and maybe we want to customize the melody generator to do what we want, you know, like, like again, this is a, the default settings. It's, it's set to probabilistic rhythm, interval, half beat, all this stuff is set. That's the default, and you get some really good results with it. So what if we want to make say like a triplet rhythm uh something you know like random that is based basically entirely on triplets so we're gonna just change the melody generator to that and we're gonna shift g and now the melodies are going to be based around triplets Notice how notice how each note is filling each you know space because the triplet tool it doesn't really give you a lot of um, variety. It's just kind of like a set you know uh, triple rhythm. But when I create the the variations, remove notes at certain intervals, sometimes it'll take some of the notes away and it'll give me some some uh, variations where there's not a note every pulse. You know, do 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 do. I mean, sometimes I go do do. Do, 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 you know, 
which is really neat. And you know, you could set no repetition, uh, random movement, or expected movement. Um, but the main, I, I definitely think the the strength of the melody generator comes with subdivision, which I, I was messing with this before, and I created some really cool Nintendo style eight bit music, you know, using subdivision and a faster tempo and a cool synth VST, and I, I could really get that 8-bit 8 8 bit video game kind of sound, which was a lot of fun to mess with. Um, I'll, I'll try to do a video of that soon. So you got subdivision, polyrhythm, um, ge generic rhythm, probabilistic rhythm. Those are the most useful that generate you know a lot of interesting stuff. So we're going to go back to probabilistic rhythm, everything set to default, and we're going to change this to quarter beat instead of half beat. It's going to create faster melodies, probably more 16th notes and stuff like that. So we just change that to that and we're going to shift G. So now as you can see the, the melodies generated have a mix of long and short notes and it'll probably sound a little cooler and a little more interesting. Now this sound font is not the greatest. like. It's kind of buried a little bit, um, so I should use a different sound. But for this tutorial, you know, I'm just going with whatever. So again, Shift G brings us back to composition. So that's, you know, that's busy, and yeah, I mean, it's not going to be like a hit song or anything, but it generates some ideas. You might like one of the melodies on one of the bars, and you might uh, take that into like a, a, a whole song idea on its own. Because again, this is called the idea tool. It's not trying to write a perfect, you know, electronic hit or like a top 40 single. It's just something to, to get the juices flowing, which is really cool. So I'm going to change this back to half beat, because I like the way that those sound a little bit better. And, you know, we'll do, instead of random movement, we might do expected. And, I don't know, density, we'll make it a little more dense. And, you know, we'll shift G and we'll see what we get. pretty cool I must say so I'm gonna increase the uh, volume of the sound font and see if we can get you know hear that melody a little bit better there we go a little too loud but So that's definitely cool. So I'm going to shift G again using the same melody generator parameters. Definitely cool. You know, a lot of ideas can come from this. Uh, I just generated it again. And as you can see, the variation created a little pause in there you know, a little uh, rest. So anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much the idea tool. Uh, real quick video about it, and, you know, there will be more to come, so hopefully you guys like this video, and see the potential of the program, and uh, I will check in with you guys soon, and thanks again for watching.